Hello everyone, this is the JBJ45 Rimless Aquarium. Uh, I'm going to make a series of videos uh, with this tank um, just to show a little bit of different tank husbandry um, than what you see for the most part out there. Um, I do things uh, in anything 50 gallons or less that I've owned or still have set up. Very lenient if you get it balanced right. Um, this tank, uh, I got this tank running in January. This is the 1st of May. Um, I think I've done two water changes, uh, a 10 gallon and a 5 gallon, which is a very low percentage of the water. And mostly just rely, I rely a lot on visual. Um, enjoy the tanks. Um, so we, I'm looking at this tank constantly every day. I look at it for a little while. And you will know, you'll learn to know when things aren't happy. Um, you'll learn when something's going on in the tank. Uh, all your inhabitants can still be happy, but if you visually see something going on, normally it'll tell you something's off. Don't have a lot of upgrades to the tank either. I'm using the JBJ SK45 skimmer, which is not an upper end skinder, skimmer. Uh, it seems to be doing decent in this tank. Um, for me, I think that's probably the biggest point is the skimmer so I would probably rather either go with the higher end skimmer or maybe put another one of these in the other side um, that's one thing of the reef keeping that I think is probably the biggest of the salt water or reef tank is a skimmer but everything else in the back the filter cartridges and everything are stock I do have some dragon's breath attached to one of the outlets and I've got some in one of the returns that I do have to trim every week or every other week. Um, very good at taking the nitrates out. Um, cannot do that if you have a tang. Of course they will eat it faster than it grows. Most of the stuff in the tank, in this tank particularly, is easy to keep. Corals. I've got a pulsating xenia. I've got a hammer that actually has a couple small heads on the sides that are getting ready to come out um, probably the most hardest thing to keep which is still an easy to keep coral is the psilopora it has actually doubled almost tripled in size since I've had it for about three weeks now I've got multiple types of mushrooms the hairy mushrooms are actually splitting soon you got one there that's got a section growing off onto another rock, uh, doing very well, but also another coral that's okay with dirty water. Um, several different types of mushrooms. One there, I've got a striped one down the bottom. Um, got a Duncan in here that's actually starting a new head on it. It was two heads of Duncan when I bought it. Uh, got a clam been in here for several months uh, starfish got some polyps there trying to get those to grow into that clam shell uh, got a small thing of woodsman polyps that I bought that is actually having to keep it quarantined so it doesn't get too big and I think one of the biggest things is keeping your bio load balanced with how much filtration you have. So I have noticed in the time that I've been running this tank that the bio load that I have in here now is almost perfect um, just from the way it behaves. I have a yellow head who makes the mess that you see in the water. Uh, I would recommend getting some sand that's not very fine if you plan on having one of these guys. They're great to watch but unlike the the diamond goby these guys swim around with the sand a lot of times and drop it all over the place instead of right where they picked it up very fun to watch fish and I've also got a pygmy angel who is very small these guys don't get very big I've got a clownfish 
just one single clownfish. I've got a the largest fish in the tank is this Midas Blenny who is coming up because I'm putting my finger in the water very friendly very good personality probably our favorite fish there is a Banghai Cardinal who's hiding right now normally out unless you're messing in the water he will hide and that's all the fish I have two large cleaner shrimp in here and they actually probably every other week molt um, so they're very happy and they're actually behind the rock at this time uh, must be molting now but that's about all I've had I've got in here I've got a small high door nano circulation pump there um, because I do think that the pumps that come stock on this tank do not have enough flow um, I am if I do upgrade anything on this tank it'll probably be the pump in the back just to create a little more water movement um, I've got a reef breeder light overhead bought it used I have it way turned down I think the uh, blues are at 35 and I think the uh, whites are at 45 um, doing very great um, I will try to do a video uh, at least once a month probably every couple weeks on what we're doing to take care of it but like I say I try to keep these size tanks very little maintenance uh, so you can enjoy the hobby more but the biggest thing is to remember is just visually look over the tank and you'll tell you'll know when something's bad the left side of this tank right now has a little bit of green algae which tells me that I'm probably only a week or two from probably doing another water change probably a 10 gallon water change is what I'll do um, when I do the water changes sometimes I clean the filters in the back but only do one um, they are a large source of my bacteria that helps take care of the bio load so I wouldn't clean both of them in the same water change really throws the balance off and the sides of this tank I don't clean because this tank is in a hole you cannot look in the sides of the tank it is under a staircase in an old house that I have redone and another project that I will try to put in these videos um, may do a separate video but probably try to do them together just to save time I have eight air conditioning units indoor air conditioning units running in this old house to do away with ductwork and all eight units have dehumidifiers and I'm going to put a closed loop system on the air conditioners to take the dehumidified water into a container to use as RO water since this water is just going to be created out of air, should be purified and clean enough to use as RO water. So I will keep you updated when I have that system up and running and can use that water as a my RO water because I will be setting up a five foot tank very soon for tangs, puppers, maybe some soft corals but stay tuned and I'll keep you updated on this tank and how it's doing see y'all later